Hi everyone, Nick with Able Cine here. Today I wanted to share some interesting first impressions about Canon's upcoming new camera, the C500 Mark II. Having worked extensively with previous generations of EOS cinema series cameras like the C300 and C300 Mark II, both as an assistant and as an operator, I was immediately interested in the new modular design. I've often gotten questions about rigging the C-series cameras because of their somewhat odd body shape, so I wanted to talk about what excites me about the new camera from a rigging perspective. I've put together three example builds of common setups that I've used EOS cinema cameras in so that we can look at some of the unique features of the C500 in context. First off, I have the camera set up in a documentary or run and gun style configuration. The original C300 cameras are very popular for this workflow, but because of their lack of a standardized or typical viewfinder and mount, they were often hampered when put up on the shoulder. The new design having native compatibility with the EVF V70 from Canon's own C700 camera gives us a reliable viewfinder option that won't require using one of your SDI ports or being separately powered. The completely flat bottom and top will make it easy for operators to pick out the shoulder pads and cheese plates that they prefer. Companies like Aerie and Wooden Camera are already developing parts that'll make rigging and accessory mounting very easy with this camera. Lastly, leaving the back of the camera clear for optional modules like this EU V2 extension unit here gives more flexibility to allow operators to tailor the camera for the needs of a given production. I especially like how this production module adds additional audio inputs as well as external controls to manipulate them with. We additionally get a V-mount battery port for extra long takes and better on the shoulder balancing. The next setup that I wanted to show the C500 Mark II in is in an electronic gimbal, like this Ronin II that we've got here. The compact bodies of the EOS cinema cameras have always made them a great choice for using with a three-axis gimbal. However, certain quirks with those bodies could present issues depending on your particular setup. For example, the non-removable EVF on the back of a C300 Mark II could often present issues with balancing because it would interfere with the tilt range or force you to push the camera too far forward. This could limit your choice of lenses or restrict you from using a matte box or even force you to have to use counterweights to properly balance the camera depending on which gimbal that you're using. Making the back of the C500 Mark II modular and leaving that clean allows us to avoid those issues. Additionally, the height of the C300 bodies could occasionally make using the top support or accessories difficult or even impossible. So the overall shorter profile and the flat top of the C500 Mark II makes this a huge boon for gimbal work. Lastly, I wanted to show the new camera on our Steadicam Zephyr. Lightweight stabilizers like Steadicam's Zephyr and Aero 30 are increasingly relevant because competent cinema cameras continue to decrease in size. The Mark II is even easier to work with on something like a Steadicam than previous C-series cameras, again because of that flat top profile and streamlined design. Because of the way that the additional modules attach at the back, weight distribution proceeds along the same axis as the lens mount as opposed to out on the sides, which is ideal for Steadicam work. That's all for now. I hope you've enjoyed joining me on this initial look through some of the potential configurations that we can put this exciting new camera in. Thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.